Uh, a lot can happen in 16 days, and it sure has. The Liberals called the election with a comfortable lead in the polls, but now those polls show the Conservatives have jumped ahead. And the gap between the two front-running parties is widening. Eric Grenier is the author and publisher of the writ.ca, and he is running the CBC's Poll Tracker. Hey, Eric. Hey. Okay, bring us up to speed. Where do the parties stand now? Well, we've seen that uh, really just in the last few days, the Conservatives have moved ahead of the Liberals for the first time since the beginning of the pandemic. So let's look at where things stand right now in the poll tracker. This is an aggregation of all the polls that are out there. You can see now that the Conservatives are ahead. They have about 33% support. The Liberals have dropped down to second. They're at about 31.5 percentage points. The NDP still in third at 20%. Their numbers have really topped out at about that level. You have the Bloc Québécois at six. You have the Greens at four. Look at that other number. The People's Party has actually moved ahead of the Greens. Uh, they're currently in uh, fifth place. But really, what's been the shift over the last few days, and really since the beginning of the campaign, is between the Conservatives and the Liberals. And the Conservatives now have that lead in the popular vote. Okay, that's a popular vote, but the seat projections, of course, something different. Take us through that. Yeah, absolutely. Just like in 2019, the Conservatives won the popular vote, but lost in the seat count. And if we look at where the seat projections are right now, you can see that there's been this movement, this drop for the Liberals, this gain for the Conservatives. Both parties well below the 170 seats needed for a majority government. But right now we're looking at around 143 seats for the Liberals, so that would be a drop. They had 157 in the last election. The Conservatives up to 130 seats. The New Democrats, big gain for them. They're currently standing at around 38 seats. The Bloc Québécois dropping a few down to 26, and the Greens at one. Uh, but the Liberals still have a little bit of an advantage in the seat count, primarily because of how it breaks down regionally. We see uh, Conservative leader Aaron O'Toole when you speak about regionally in Ontario t today. Um, take us through some of the, the numbers specific to that province. Yeah, Ontario is really the key for the Liberals in terms of leading in the seat count, and the Conservatives do need to close the gap on the Liberals there. They want to come ahead, out ahead in the seat. So let's look at where things stand in Ontario right now. It is really, really close. 35% uh, for the Liberals in the polls in Ontario, 34% for the Conservatives. At the beginning of this campaign, the Liberals had almost a 10-point lead. So this has been a big, big shift. The New Democrats right now are at 21%. And again, the People's Party is ahead of the Greens in Ontario. Another important battleground is Quebec. There's going to be a French-language debate on Thursday. And uh, the numbers could shift in Quebec. We've seen that the Liberals are still holding a the lead there. They're at 34%. The Bloc Québécois is eight points back. They're at 26%. They really haven't built up any momentum in this campaign. Both the New Democrats and the Conservatives have picked up a little bit. The Conservatives at 19, the NDP at 13. And we'll go just to BC, because this is one of the places where the Conservatives have made some really important games. Yeah, this is games. fascinating. Yeah, and it started out as a three-way race. It's not looking as close this time. The Conservatives are at 34%, and their numbers just keep getting better. And the NDP has actually moved into second in BC, ahead of the Liberals. Both are at about 27%, but the trend lines as they are really across the country, going up for the Conservatives and going down for the Liberals. I want to go uh, back to what you're talking about with the PPC. Maxime Bernier is not going to be part of the debates, whether the French language or the English language debates, uh, and yet he is seeing um, a climb in his popularity and his party's popularity. Why? Where's that coming from? Well, it's coming from really Ontario, British Columbia, the prairies. This, these are the areas where the Greens have dropped quite a bit. Not that there's Green Party voters moving over to the PPC, but this is one of the factors here that the Greens are really underperforming and the PPC is going up. And that's why we're seeing that movement at the bottom of the table. It'll be interesting to see if the PPC is going to be able to maintain this kind of momentum, especially since Max and Bernie won't be at the debates, and whether those people will actually go out to vote on Election Day. But one of the, one of the little sidebars to watch in this election campaign, how much of an impact they're going to have, and whether on election night the Conservatives will wish more of those votes had been with them. Absolutely. A race in real time. Eric Grenier, thanks so much. Thanks. Hi, I'm Vashi Capello's host of Power in Politics. See more of our show by subscribing to the CBC News Channel or click the link for another video.